Hey, 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 what's up you guys? Gedeminas here. Hope you guys are doing fantastically well. Thanks for jumping on. Thanks for joining the Financial Freedom TV. Uh, and if you're watching a replay of this, please do me a massive favor and stick hashtag replay into the comments. And if you're brand new, if you're watching one of my videos for the first time, then please do say new in the comments because I'd love to welcome you to the tribe and say hello. And if, of course, if you get some value from this video, or you learn something, feel free to share it. Maybe somebody else will get some value too, okay? So the title of this video is Never Help Somebody without their permission. What on earth do I mean by that, right? That's the Christmas spirit, right? No, um, actually I, 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 I was watching a video of my mentor Ray Higdon um, on this topic and I thought, wow, this is actually quite important and, uh, and, and, and really true. So I wanted to share it with you too. Hey Marius, hey Nicola, hey Angela, hey Cara, hey Louise. Thanks for jumping on guys. So what on earth do I mean by that? Well, you know when you see people doing things in an incorrect way or not very effectively or, you know, outright wrong way and you want to help, right? You, you like you've got the best intentions in mind and you and you try to help this person and then surprise, surprise, you actually get a negative feedback from them. You You know, they get angry with you. They get upset by you trying to whatever, fix them, trying to help them, trying to patronize them or whatever. You know what I mean? So unsolicited advice is almost, almost always unaccepted and unappreciated. Unsolicited advice is almost always unappreciated. So even though you have the best intention you have the person's best interest in mind and you see somebody doing something wrong or you see somebody really not getting results when they should be getting results and you just go, hey man, you're doing this wrong, you know, like let me show you how to do it right. Almost always you will, ex you will experience resistance from that person. Why? Because your advice is unsolicited. And hey, you know, like if you think about it, you are in the wrong. <laughs> If you if you if you pushing your agenda over somebody, if you're pushing your advice over somebody without that person asking for your advice, then you are spamming them. <laughs> you are basically, uh, you know, without asking their permission, pushing your information onto them. Right. So you shouldn't do that. Right. And and most time, most most of the time, if you do that, they're not going to take your advice anyway, even if they're going to be polite enough to just hear you out, they're not going to act on that advice anyway. They're not, they're not going to use that advice by, by, you know, by most of the time, right? So instead, what should you do then instead? Well, what you should do instead is ask that person, do you want some advice? Do you want some help? Look, I, I see you trying to, you know, do some stuff on social media. Would you like some advice? Would you like a few tips? You know, or I see you trying to get results in business, but you're not getting. Would you like me to give you some advice and some tips? Right. Ask for their permission. You know, do you need some help? Right. Because I remember one time we had a meeting with my sponsor and somebody from uh, from uh, her team came um, and we were sitting there and she said, well, well, how can we help this person? And I said, well, before we start helping this person, let me just ask one question. And I turned to that person and I said, do you feel that you need help in business? And guess what that person said? Oh, no, I'm all right. I'm fine. No problem at all. No, no, no. I don't need any help. Guess what? That person is no longer around in the business. <laughs> but because that person was closed, because they were not accepting the help, I could have delivered the best training of my life there. I could have done, you know, with all the passion and motivation and everything. And that person would have used 0% of that training because they were not ready for help. You know, they say some people would not participate in their own rescue. <laughs> and some people um, are, are ask holes. <laughs> it, it's called ask hole, right? Ask hole is a person who asks for advice but then don't actually take 
that advice. They don't actually act on it. You know what I mean? So, so always ask a person, Hey, you know, I can see you doing these things. How do you think you're getting on? You know, are you, are you happy with your results? Are you happy with what you're getting? You know, and, and that person might say, well, actually, I'm not very happy. Actually, I'm not getting very good results. Then you ask again, you say, hey, would you like some tips and advice? If I gave you some tips and advice, uh, would that be okay? Would you like to get some help, right? And the person, if they say yes, that's the second question. And then I would go on to ask the third question. I'd say, great. And if I was to give you some advice, if, and if I was to give you some tips uh, from my experience, would you use it? <laughs> That's the question that most people don't ask. They just say, hey, do you need some help? Oh, let me help you, right? And then they, they pour their heart and soul into trying to help this person, into teaching them for in the next half an hour or an hour, only for that person to walk away and never use a single bit of that advice, <laughs> right? So you are, especially if it's somebody in your team, you go, hey, if, if, I, if I teach you this thing, if, if we're going to spend time doing this, are you going to use what I'm going to teach you? <laughs> and you want to get a yes, right? You want to get a yes to all three of those questions. If that's a yes, then off you go. You can give that person advice and they will appreciate it. They will act on it and they will value it and they will thank you for that advice. Otherwise, you might get a slap in the face. <laughs> and that's the last thing I want you to get. Okay, so that's my tip for today, guys. I hope you got some value if you did. As always, feel free to share this video. Maybe somebody else will get some value too. You guys have a great rest of your evening. And if uh, you'd like a free ebook called How to Build a Part-Time Business While Keeping a Full-Time Job, drop me a message and I'll be more than happy to send you that ebook. Have a great rest of your evening. I'll see you at the top. Bye for now.